Okay, so this is going to be a quick demonstration of the UFO CFD software, and this is the original Cartesian version of UFO CFD. Um, so this is a working directory, and um, there's a few files in here that are significant because the ones that we want to use are the exe file here is the UFO CFD solver. Um, this file here is the HTML GUI. And we've got the text input file below that. Um, we've got an old VTK file, which we don't need. And we've got a geometry, which is uh, an F1 SDL file. So the geometry we're going to look at is this very basic F1 car model. So it needs to be oriented correctly in the x-axis because the flow is going from left to right. You need to make sure it's about the right size or scale. And we want it to be roughly um, in the centre of the domain, so the origin is somewhere in the middle of the car. So once you've got that set up, you can save that as um, save it as an STL file and just save it as an ASCII as a solver or just reading ASCII files. Next, once we've got our STL file, we want to run the GUI and to help us set up the, uh, the input file. So initially, um, blank, so we can first of all press read, which reads in an existing text file. And it's already set up for this F1 geometry. The name of your STL file needs to go in this box here, first of all. And you need to make sure that Dmax is large enough for the number of STL triangles in the file. So press wire, that should draw it. You can see the STL model here. You can zoom in or out by changing this parameter. I'll set that to 50%. Okay, we can change the position in the screen if we need to. By changing these offset values, X off, Y off. Change the view for a different direction by changing that one, two or three. So this is just for um, used for setting up the, um, the meshing values. So next, if we press cage, it will show us the extent of the geometry. So it draws a box around it and changes the x min and x max values over here. Um, this is the mesh size or the size of the smallest cells been set to put 0 0.04. So if we press mesh, it will show us what the mesh looks like. And here we've got a uniform mesh around the car, then expanding mesh away from the car. And all of those parameters are set in the GUI here. But next we can check life points that needs to be inside the domain, so that looks okay. And um, operations are set to zero, so we'll save that text file as it is, then run it. That should generate as a mesh so we can just have a quick look at it. Just writing in ASCII at the moment, so that's like taking a while.
now we have a normal A file, which is not the flow solution, it's just uh, the mesh at the moment. So we can read that in. So that's read, read it in, and we're just viewing it in outline mode at the moment. So if we want to take a quick look at the mesh that's been created, we can see the domain, the size of the domain, and check if that's okay. And we can do a quick cut plane. At the moment, all we can view is the LCD, which is the live cut cell or dead regions on the different field. So, Rating it up. And we're now looking at the distance field through the model. That looks okay. Um, change this LCD. This literally shows us every cell, um, whether it's live, cut cell, or dead. That looks fine. And what we're looking for here is just to check that we've got a dead region inside the geometry, a live region outside. So five is one, dead is minus one, and the cut cells are all green. That looks fine. And if we want to check out the Build, we do cell data to point data and that allows us to take a contour and contour the distance field at zero and that shows us what our distance field looks like. Some bits of geometry missing where it's been jumped. And in this case, it looks like we've got a brown plane defined as well as a cut cells. Yep. Cut cell brown plane is, has been switched on. That one off the time being. So uh, the next thing to do is to, to run it for a few iterations. So let's just do a demo and do iterations and the speeds set to 30 meters per second. So we'll see the initial values and the preceding values. So one is your starting conditions and the other one is used for your back. So just setting 30, 100 iterations, save after 100. And save that and run it. So I can run it from the command prompt if we want. Or we can run it from the window. Run it from the command prompt. running executable and that should be running by default in parallel 